Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Profiling Evil Reacts segment on the arrest of Aiden Fucci's mother, Crystal Smith, for evidence tampering. Now, Aiden Fucci is uh, being held and charged with first-degree murder in the killing death, the, the brutal slaying of Tristan Bailey, a 13-year-old girl in, in the Jacksonville, Florida area. Now, according to law enforcement, Smith committed the crime on Mother's Day, just minutes after her son voluntarily left his home with police investigators who wanted to ask him questions about Tristan's murder. Frankly, I, I find myself wondering why his mother wasn't calling for an attorney for her son rather than spending her time destroying evidence, but... Regardless, police uncovered that Smith uh, went in as soon as they left with uh, Fucci and started washing the blood out of his jeans. She took the jeans into the bathroom, scrubbed the jeans, put them back before police returned. Now, police served a search warrant. They recovered the jeans, which had uh, DNA, blood, from Tristan Bailey all over the, the jeans. And they also recovered Tristan's blood from the drain where she had been watching. Let's take a minute and watch this comprehensive news story by the WJXT4 News. Here, along with his mother, both being charged in a 13-year-old's murder case investigation. Crystal Smith, the mother of 14-year-old Aiden Fucci, was arrested in St. John's County today. Smith is being accused of tampering with evidence in the murder of Tristan Bailey. Smith was let out on bond less than two hours after she was booked into jail. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom spoke with a local attorney about this arrest. Bree, what is he saying? So Gene Nichols, a local attorney, tells me that law enforcement has probably been taking a while to evaluate this case and question the mom. That's why it's been taking them so long to arrest her. 35-year-old Crystal Lane Smith was arrested and booked in the St. Johns County Jail Saturday morning at 1150. Smith was charged with tampering with evidence, which is a third-degree felony in Florida. The arrest warrant says after Fucci went with investigators on May 9th for questioning in Bailey's killing, Smith was seen on surveillance video inside her home washing Fucci's blue jeans, which later tested positive for blood. The drain in the sink where Smith was seen washing the jeans also tested positive for blood, according to the warrant. As soon as his clothes made it to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office and subsequently to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, it was evident to them that the clothes had been washed. Gene Nichols, a local attorney, says the mother's arrest took so long because investigators were most likely questioning her. Nichols says although the mother was charged with a third degree felony, he doubts anything will be done until Fucci's case is done. She will present to felony court the same way her son did in front of a judge. Nichols says he doubts the St. John's County Sheriff's Office will give the mother prison time. I am sure that Mr. Larissa's office recognizes that this was a mother trying to protect her child and made some very bad decisions in order to try to protect her child. Could she face a jail sentence? She could. The jail website shows she was released on a $25,000 bond at 140 on Saturday afternoon. And coming up at 11, we went to Smith's house today. And coming up, it's all what we found there. I'm live in St. John's County, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station. 14 year old Aiden Fucci is going to be tried as an adult in Bailey's death. He has pleaded not guilty. Fucci is scheduled to appear in court for a pretrial hearing at 9 a.m. on July 28th. If convicted, Fucci could face life in prison. Because of his age, he is not eligible for the death penalty. In a statement to another uh, news agency, Action News Jacksonville, State Attorney Larisa said, quote, tampering with evidence is tampering with justice and cannot be excused or tolerated. Well, the warrant says that Smith was present on May 9th when her 14-year-old son was being interviewed about 12.31 p.m. in the uh, afternoon. He was being interviewed by investigators about Bailey's death. After her son voluntarily left with deputies, surveillance cameras inside the house captured Smith going into Fucci's room, grabbing a pair of jeans, and then scrubbing the jeans in the bathroom sink. Investigators say she returned the jeans back to Fucci's room a couple of hours later. Well, Smith posted a $25,000 bond yesterday after turning herself into authorities. 
and uh, she'll be dealt with on that, but probably not until after Fucci's criminal case is over. Fucci, as you know, has been charged as an adult with first-degree murder in the brutal slaying of Tristan Bailey. He could face up to life in prison. Go back and check my other videos on that. And thanks for taking a moment. Please uh, like and subscribe and ring that bell. And we'll look forward to seeing you at the next crime scene. Thank you.